did someone say Twitter? I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. I'm trying to get from A to B, struggle on the way. Struggle, struggle on the way, that's the way Just drop it, just drop it, drop it, just drop it, just drop it, drop it Yo, what's going on guys, what's going on? It's been a long, long time and actually you said you were going to make more regular vlogs, man. I know, I know, I get it, I get it, do you know what I mean? But I've been busy, what can I say? No excuse, I know, I know, I know. But hey, your boy's back, going to give you a few updates on what's been going on with myself, uh, communication and you know life, life in general. We're working closely, real closely with James Altershaw. Working with James Altershaw has been absolutely brilliant. Like it's given communication a lot of momentum. Like we've, we're now getting attention from people like Jim Quick, uh, Lewis Howes. We also did a clip featuring Richard Branson and he was promoting his book Finding Your Virginity or His Virginity and it's basically talking about how we bloody got on the phone and asked to buy a plane. Who does that? But how did you convince Boeing to basically, essentially lend you a plane? <laughs> um, well, I rang them up. And well, like, I, w I wouldn't be able to do that, for instance. <laughs> um, I had a record company. I rang them up and I said, um, this is Richard Branson. I'm, I didn't say I was 27 years old, but I was. Um, I wonder whether you have any secondhand 747s for sale. And um, the guy at the other end said, uh, who did you say you were? I said, I'm Richard Branson. I have a record company called Virgin Records, but they got the Rolling Stones and... Janet Jackson and Sex Pistols and lots of great bands. Um, but I'm fed up flying on other people's airlines. And I'd like to create the kind of airline that I'd like to fly on. So yeah, as I said, we're getting a lot of attention. We're getting a lot of people that have been like, you know, long-standing famous people that have been in the game for many years coming to us and asking for work. So this whole alliance with James Ottershaw is really skyrocketing communication. So hopefully there's a lot more work to come. And on top of that, James Ottershaw sent me and Paul a personal video. Yeah. Ashley and Paul, I love your animations. Please don't stop doing them. You're so incredible. You have great sense of humor, great talent, great artistic ability. You guys are the best animators. I love it. Now that was absolutely mad. Like, I always spit on myself. That was absolutely mad. I just couldn't believe that James Ottershaw took the time out to say, yo, Asher and Paul, like, I love your animations and stuff. I mean, it's one thing working with these people and, like, they're, they're crazy following and the, the amount of accolades they have. But for them to actually send a personal video to you, like, is, is nuts. You know, like, from working with Gary V, I didn't get a personal video from him, but that's fine. You know what I mean? I don't expect that at all. But getting one from James Ottershaw is, is nuts. Like, who, who can say that? Who can say they've had a personal video from James Ottershaw? Or anybody. Also, which I couldn't wait to get to, Twitter! So basically, the guy I work with in America, John, which is what I was talking about in the last vlog, sent me this computer. Now, he, like, kept checking with me every bloody five minutes, like, Ash, man, you got the computer? You got it yet? I was like, dude, it's not here yet. Like, chill. Like, I'm talking, he literally couldn't wait for me to get this computer. I was like, dude, why are you so obsessed with me getting this computer? What's in there? Like, a, a guide on how to drink beer? Because I don't drink beer, because I think it's foul. So, yeah, it finally got here. Opened up the box. Laptop. Nice. Lifted up the laptop out the box. This book. Nice. And I was thinking, hmm. You think I'm a good animator, but you must think I suck on Twitter because you're sending me a book all the way across the Atlantic pond. If that ain't a hint that you suck on Twitter, I don't know what is. So I was like, cool, okay, you know, take it on the chain, you know what I mean? We're all um, under construction anyway, you know what I mean? No one's perfect, you've got to keep on learning. Open up the book, and not only was this post it note on there, but my name was up there too. Hang on, let me get something. You, you, you guys are going to see this. Asher Oliver. Asher Oliver. So you're probably wondering why I'm in a book that isn't Crime Watch. <laughs> so basically, um, it's just outlining the story about you know how I worked with Gary Vaynerchuk like years back and gave me the leverage and how John and me met online. That sounds really wrong, not in that way. 
how we started working together on cartoon projects for his uh, sports brand and how we just elevated the communication basically. And it's a hell of a story, you know, it's so unconventional, it took me by surprise, uh, took Mark Schaefer by surprise, who is the author of this book. Um, so if you haven't got it, go out and get it. It's basically a guideline on how to use Twitter to, um, to give yourself some leverage online. Because to be completely real with you, that's all we need. Like, you know, when we're trying to make ourselves known and get our names out there, leverage, you know? And the only way we can do that, or the best way we can do that, is aligning yourself with people that have got loads and loads and loads of people following them, like Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, like, you know, it, it was only when a friend pointed him out to me, and I was like, you know what, that's my guy, he talks my language, I'm going after him, I want to work with him, I want to be associated with him. And it's given me, like, amazing opportunities since the day I actually worked with him. And, you know, there's much more to come. But you just have to bear in mind and remember that you can't just approach these people that have got maybe millions upon millions of inboxes in their emails and say, look, my name is so-and-so, this, that, and the other, because you're just going to fade into everyone else. Because I can guarantee hundreds of thousands of people have already come up with the same kind of copy and paste. My stuff is here. Look at it. I want to work with you. Dot, 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 dot. You know, uh, regards, um, Timothy Bowler whatever the hell he's going to be called but you know you just have to offer you have to offer something to them like you know give something to them because obviously you want something from them so give them something value is the word I'm looking for offer them value I went blank offer them value that's all I did so you guys can do exactly the same but just like keep hustling inbox people inbox everybody Tell them what you do, tell them what you could do for them and hopefully something will come over. It's a massive numbers game, just don't give up, stick with it and keep on it.